we've got a bit of a problem with this door in that the locking mechanism has actually failed so we can't actually lock or unlock the door at all the multi-point lock that's on the inside of the door has actually failed so we cannot lock it or unlock it so we were incredibly lucky to get this door unlocked I actually managed to get it unlocked by removing the two screws from the door handle then I actually pulled the handle forwards a bit once I put the handle back on I did actually manage to get the latch so that the door would actually open once I got it in the open position I have actually glued that using some super fix so the latch cannot actually spring back out into its keep if that actually springs back out into its keep you can't undo the door and there's a possibility that you may need to call out a locksmith so the Euro cylinder is working fine but we can't get the cam to operate the lock because the lock is damaged so we now need to replace the multi-point locking system which is this part here We can now remove the handles and also the spindle from the door. We now need to put the key in the door and we need to remove the screw which holds in the Euro cylinder. We can then turn that until the cam lines up and we can remove the Euro cylinder. There's now a series of screws that we need to remove before we can actually pull the lock out from the door. This is now at the bottom of the door, so finally we need to remove that screw. Then we can turn that part sideways which will enable us to pull out the actual lock. This actually does have to come out from the bottom. Your door may not be like this one. But now I've got that out a bit I can now pull out the lock all the way up. And then when we get to this part we need to pull out the bottom and drop it down slightly before we can get it out. like so. Those teeth on the back of there interlock with an aluminium part up there which activates the part on the top there that locks. So we've now successfully removed the full lock. We now need to take this to a locksmith and get an exact replacement. On some of these multi-point locks you can actually remove some screws there and just change the gearbox. Unfortunately on this model they are actually riveted in so that means that we need an all new lock. At the bottom of this door is a shoot bolt that goes into a keep at the bottom of the door. The last thing we want is for that to drop down. If that drops down we can actually open the door again and then we will have to call out a locksmith. So I'll push that up and I'm going to take that in position using some gaffer tape. Now when we close that door that bolt cannot drop down and prevent us from opening the door again. I've now been and purchased a direct replacement. Unfortunately, this particular model is obsolete now, so it is not exactly the same, but the gearboxes are in exactly the same place. So we're now going to fit the new one back into the door. The critical part of this door is that part there, which meets up with this part on the back of the mechanism. So I'm going to put that back in exactly the same place, and that was actually directly with the top of the old one. So I've got that in there now. I'm now going to push that in and slide it up. At this point the full mechanism needs lifting up. And now the important part again is this part at the bottom. We need to ensure that that is turned 90 degrees and then we can push this part all the way home like so. We can now put the screw in the bottom. I'm now going to remove the tape from the bottom of the door. I'm now going to replace the spindle. I'm going to put the handle on and I'm just going to check that the mechanism is working. Which it is. 
because this is not an exact match we actually need to re-drill some of the fixing holes for this lock so I'm now just going to drill that using a small drill bit I'm now going to take the Euro cylinder with the key and I'm going to carefully slide that back into position Once I've done that I can now put the retaining screw in and then I'm going to remove the key and refit the door handles Now we've got this far, before I actually close the door and try locking it, I'm actually going to do it with the door open. So I'm going to lift that up to the locking position, and I'm going to lock that with the key, and we're just going to make sure that that works. The last thing you want to do is close the door now and find that you've got a problem, and then you can't unlock the door because you'll have to call out a locksmith. As you can see, you can now unlock the door, and then lock the door, absolutely no problem at all.